Chris for the birdie after his roll away after hitting that tree. It looks like he's a pretty similar distance to that putt he had on hole one, but he's got the flat ground play now and uh, not going to miss it twice. And that distance is so money for Chris Dickerson. He's got that phenomenal spin putt. I'm guessing from circle two, can't quite tell yet. Yeah, about 50. And this is his bread and butter range as of the past couple years. Yeah, on hole three, and he's got his third step putt here already. I'm, I'm guessing it's going in. <laughs> that hit the same spot as hole two. He's got it dialed in. I'm looking forward to watching this the rest of the round. Watch this. Just so simple. And like you said, balance. His, his weight is just so centered. He's not leaning forward. He's not falling back. That's kind of the trick to having that solid circle two step putt. After the last three holes of three, four, and five, this is one you step up to it. And it doesn't really matter what's happened on those last three holes. You feel like you need to get this. Yes. And Eric Oakley getting pin high, hitting the circle two putt. Let's see it again. Such a smooth trajectory. Man, that's such a great birdie to get. I mean, from a straddle position. So much power on that. Oh, and he splits the trees on the left side, and he is in circle one. That was a phenomenal sidearm. Mid-range into the basket from circle two or even circle three. And Speaking of, oh my god. Oh, Chris trying to save that par there. And here's Chris to go nine under par, just outside circle one. Oh, hard oh, yeah. set. Such a beautiful putt. Let's rewind that, actually. Again, I love this just simple continuation of the weight. He throws his standard putting stroke and just lets that that uh, off foot just follow through. Just so smooth. Great round from Chris. Nine down. Gives him a chance to be on lead card. Key, I'm not sure. But maybe not. Maybe he's got a firebird in his hand. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a firebird. And just misses those trees on the left side. Nice Has the shot. distance control a little better and skips just long of that tree. Make it easier for him to be able to get a par. Oh, and that is gorgeous. And look at that thing slowly flip up. Never quite getting to flat, but not crashing out early. Oh, that is man. amazing. That is fantastic. That's the best drive I've seen so far. It gets up close to the OB Creek. And this is the mistake. That if you're Ricky, oh. it's, it's still going to be okay. No way. What an incredible roll. Even without the roll, that was still... You could tell he knew right away. And these are fun here. Matt Bell crouching down in the woods. Yep. <laughs> it's almost like his percentage gets higher when he's stuck in like a vine or a, or a thorn bush. They're again catching just, just the last tree from Matty O there. And that's interesting about this course is all the pine straw on the ground. You really have to dig yourself some footing because it's so slick on that the, the floor of this forest. Yeah, if you don't clean your lie off good, it's easy. Oh, there is a beautiful putt from James. Let's see it again. We talked about this with Dickerson's stroke yesterday. Simple oh, continuation of his weight. His off foot just kind of slowly comes through. He lets his natural follow through carry his body forward. Gorgeous putt. Um, you've got to throw, you can tell that it's a little uphill here. So you have to throw up to get it over this peak before it slopes back down. Matteo has done it perfectly. This is the type of drive you want to see. Pretty much thrown out of his shades. His shades fell off when he made that drive, but a gorgeous shot. Like that, very hard. And Ricky knew it out of the hand, starting to walk it down. Great birdie from him after a pretty unfortunate little tree kick he got there. And uh, you want to kind of push a putter forward and then have it turn right and flatten, which Ricky has done. And it oh. <laughs> oh, just flashes the chains there. Wow. This is for a big birdie for Matt Bell. OB behind the basket. And there it is. 
We've been seeing that putt drop just a little bit low. He knew he needed to make this one or he's going to suffer another stroke from that OB right behind the basket. Great putt out of Matt. Maybe a bit further, actually. <laughs> and cashes it two in a row from circle two to finish his round. I need to make a note here. As we watch this happen yet again, he was perfect in round one from circle two. Two 60-footers and two 50-footers. This guy is incredible. And this is a skill that's so challenging to master. Circle two putting is not easy. Yeah. Good good finish for Matt Bell there. Ricky hitting his putt as well to put him at 17 under. And this puts pressure on Matty O. Yeah, it looks like he's about 38 feet. Looking to hit this putt to tie Ricky at 17 under. Oh, what a round. What a round from wow. Matty O. So many of those shallow circle two jumpers. And Kevin has sawed his off a little early, out of bounds. That is not a gimme up and down either. This is looking pretty good out of Paul. There's one tree to miss late. Spike's right in front of it and almost skips it in. Perfect Absolute side arm. tap in. Uh, makes it, in my opinion, not quite as good of a play. Wow. Calvin, however, wow. doesn't care that what he's a almost scramble. on a different fairway. And, and now he's got even more work to do, it looks like, from where he kicked to. And you see how many sh like first available trees these players have been hitting all weekend. It's so interesting to hear all the players talk so positively about this course. You know, you're, you'd think that there'd be a lot of complaints about how wooded it is, but... I think it's just refreshing to get back in the woods a little bit for these players. And a tomahawk roller for Thummer? I don't know exactly what that Sit was. Sit down. Besides fantastic. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Incredible. Moving, moving across the ground. The wind is blowing. And again, yes. he is able to hit his yes. circle two putt to save his par. He has been dangling by a thread this entire round, and his phenomenal jump putting is He's just hanging on, keeping him in the ball game. And honestly, this is a hole built for Calvin. Yeah, Calvin has so much drive forward on his discs. He just gets them to go straighter than I really see other people get them to go, and they keep moving just as fast as they came out of his hand. Just like this, what? where he is, he is pin height. Is he pin? Is he past pin height? He's in circle one on the FPO basket, which is 500 feet, I believe. And he snags the birdie weak side. That is a huge 40, 45 foot standing putt. The basket is not blocking him. Everyone's kind of making the same mistake, yeah, a little too high. Just a bit high. Calvin also sneaking through, though, and what? with the forward drive that he has. Yeah, this doesn't look to be a great a great way to get a birdie. I'm sure he's going to be trying. <gasps> oh! Oh! That's a great spot to be at. He'll have a hyzer, a backhand hyzer approach towards the basket. And I somehow knew that Calvin was going for this aggressive play. And he gets it up there great, gets enough turnover on it. Still pushing forward. Wow. And he drops. Oh my gosh. Drops 40 feet away from the basket, gets an incredible roll, <gasps> and is now absolutely, well, I can't say parked. He's 20 feet away for his eagle. This is for eagle. This is incredible. Yeah, we're going to have three birdies on the card. And an eagle still gaining a stroke on the card. Getting him to 18 under, that is the, the closest that I think I will ever see a tee shot get to this basket. That's incredible. They're also going to be getting a par to finish his round at 18 under. And Emerson finishing off the round with a bang. Long circle two putt for four birdies in a row. Great finish to just what seemed to be a roller coaster of a round for him. And I think, you know, perseverance is a big, <laughs> a big factor on this course. And Paul with a tough putt, oh, able to jam gosh. it. And that's a big putt for him. That, um, 
moves to 22 under par, and he's in uh, third place. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 Texas State Champion, Ricky Wysocki. Thank you. That's cool. What is the bell buckle? Oh, yeah. That's, that's Texas. Texas style. I like it. <laughs> that's amazing. I love it. Thank you.